Okay, when we consider the figure below, which shows delta G for a chemical process plotted against absolute temperature, and we want to know which of the following solutions down below is the correct one. All right, there's a lot of way, things I could ask on this for looking for an incorrect versus correct, so we want to actually look at what the graph actually tells us. All right, first and foremost, we have the line crossing where our delta G would be equal to zero. So we have a reaction that is spontaneous at some temperatures and non-spontaneous at others. And actually when it's negative down here, that's when it's spontaneous. So this particular one is spontaneous at high temperatures. All right, whenever we see something like that, and we know uh, we have a reaction where we have spontaneous only when our temperature is high, we know our delta G, uh, or not our delta G, our delta H is a positive value, and we know our delta S is also a positive value, because that's the only way this would actually get um, uh, spontaneous at only high temperatures. And we're kind of looking for something like that. Had these both been negative values, delta H and delta S, that is, then our graph would actually kind of be the complete opposite. And we're going to use logic like that to look at the um, graph to figure out what's going on in this particular problem.